Hey guys, it's Melanie from Growing Little Brains and I wanted to come to you today and just show you a little bit about what my home setup looks like. Um, a few of you were asking where I position my webcam and kind of what I need to um, have at my disposal to run my sessions. So I'm just gonna give you a little sneak peek as to what it looks like. So flip you around. Here's my desk. My chair's on wheels and my desk is on wheels. So I put little casters on all the wheels down here so that mommy can be mobile and move her desk to wherever is needed in the house and get some peace and quiet away from the littles. Um, my laptop is up on my handwriting without tears workbooks and that way my students can be looking at my eyes and face instead of up my nose. Over to the left, I just have my USB plugged in there for my iPhone. I can plug that in and then screen share um, some apps that I have on my iPhone. I think I'll do another video for those of you that are using Zoom. Um, I'm not familiar with all the other platforms, but I do know how to use Zoom. So if that's helpful, I'll um, do a little video tutorial on to how to work through some of those screen share options. Over to the right, I have my external webcam. Again, it's just a Logitech plug and play. Um, I'll put um, a little link to um, the camera that I have if anyone's interested. I put it up high on a little box here. That way my students can see my hand. Um, if I'm doing any manipulative work, like over here I have my coins, and so if I'm doing any kind of finger to palm, palm to finger translation, it's a little bit easier when the camera is up high so that I can get a little bit of distance and they can really see what my fingers are doing. Um, I will bring it down to the desk here if I'm doing something like spot it. I love this and the kids seem to really like that too. So I can put two cards side by side and then that way it's just a clearer picture for them to see um, all the different pictures on the cards. The other things that I have at my desk at all times is just a bucket of random objects I can play memory with. Um, the blocks, sometimes I can do just copy and blocks if they have those Duplo blocks or if they have the smaller Lego blocks at home. That is a great way to work on some of those visual perceptual skills. Play-Doh, of course, my coins, and then Uno. Again, works well if they have a stack of Uno cards at home. I love this Loaded Questions Junior. That is great for my older students for some writing prompts, a deck of cards. And then I love these little wipe off boards. I use that for letter formation instruction and I use the dry erase. Um, will come out a lot clearer underneath that um, external webcam. And if you haven't figured that trick out already, it is a lot easier for you to see your students writing if you ask them to write in marker as well or a very dark um, pen. It will show up a lot a lot nicer on the screen than if they're writing in pencil. So um, I just use like a old little fuzzy sock to do my erasing. And that is pretty much it. So I'll just take a little bird's eye view here. That is what my setup looks like. I hope that helps some of you and I hope you guys are surviving your telehealth experience. If you have any other questions, comments, concerns, things that you'd love to see on the blog, I'd love to hear from you. Um, you can get me on Facebook and you can also find the most recent blogs on growingalittlebrains.com. So that's it for today. Have a great day. Bye.